Corey Lewandowski says that Clapper is one of the worst serial liars. Former Trump campaign manager says Spygate is very real. Corey Lewandowski, former Trump campaign manager, co-author in the New York Times bestseller, Let Trump Be Trump. Corey, how are you and good morning to you. Good morning, Bill. James Clapper's got a new book out and he's doing interviews. Yesterday, he said Russia turned the election for your side. And he said the spying issue has been distorted. Listen. The important thing was not to spy on the campaign, but rather to determine what the Russians were up to. Were they trying to penetrate the campaign, gain access, gain leverage, gain influence? And that was the concern that the FBI had. And I think they were just doing their job and, and trying to protect our political system. Just doing their job, protecting the system. What do you think about that, Corey? Look, Jim Clapper has now proven to be one of the worst serial liars in our nation's history. Every time this guy opens his mouth, another lie comes out. If he was so concerned that they had to spy on the Trump campaign, were they also spying on the Clinton campaign to make sure the Russians weren't influencing you know, the outcome of that side of the campaign? Of course not. This was all about Donald Trump. Spygate is very real. Jim Clapper, James Comey, you know, the entire cabal of the deep state never thought that Donald Trump was going to win. They took out a quote unquote insurance policy to make sure he didn't win. And now they're trying to justify how they're going to stay out of jail. Well, uh, well, here's the tweet on that. Clapper's now admitted on screen. Clapper now admitted there was spying in my campaign. Large dollars were paid to the spy, far beyond normal, starting to look like one of the biggest political scandals in U.S. history. Spygate, a terrible thing. I imagine that'll come up today at the White House with these two briefings. What do you expect to come from that? Look, it, what's, what's amazing to me, Bill, is that the President of the United States has instructed the Justice Department to share the information with the proper oversight committees of Congress and there's been pushback from the media saying, oh, no, 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 you shouldn't share this. It's too political. The reason that Adam Schiff is not in the first meeting, in my opinion, is because Leaky Adam is the guy who, when I was providing testimony behind closed doors, is walking out of the room and telling people what's being said, which I think is a violation because it was supposed to be, you know, a, a quiet, top secret or, you know, classified meeting or I'm giving testimony and Adam's out leaking the information. So what I think is absolutely critical, the most important thing that we can get to was violations of the Fourth Amendment used to spy on U.S. citizens on domestic soil because of a false dossier mm. that the Clinton campaign paid for. And if they did violate individuals' Fourth Amendment rights, there had better be accountability and putting people in jail. My, my, th my sense is that you're going to get two different versions out of these meetings, probably one from Democrats, one from Republicans. But well, Secretary Kelly, General Kelly, will be in that room. Continue. Well, well, that's, that's right. But you know, look, it's very, very important. The evidence is the evidence. And if there was evidence used for a FISA warrant to spy an American citizen on domestic soil that was provided by a false dossier paid for by the Clinton campaign to the Russians, then there had better be accountability because the FISA application is very clear. You have to make sure that the information you're providing a judge is accurate. And they, from what we understand, did not disclose that the in the application, uh -huh, uh -huh. part do, of that do, do was paid for think, by Clinton. Well, will they see that FISA application today in these meetings? Do you know that? Well, I, I don't know if they will, but I hope that that information is provided to the appropriate committee members that have oversight over this. And they should also look and understand what the scope of this investigation was, because we now know Jim Comey has said himself there was spying conducted by uh, someone on the Trump campaign. We have to understand what took place. This is the biggest scandal in American political history. Well, there's a legal strategy developing behind all that, too. We're going to talk about that a bit later on there. She was. Thank you, Corey, for coming in today. Corey Lewandowski in Washington. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, so be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below and tell me how you feel about this report. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Let's make America great again. Peace.